Hi guys and welcome back to Camelot's Country Sports. In this little episode I'm going to be doing a review. It's a new part of the channel which I'm very excited about. We are sponsored by More Edges for this and they're going to be giving me some great products to review and you down at the range. So this is episode one and episode one is going to be on the One Leaf Commander. Right so first things first let's see what we get in the box. So guys, let's um, see what's in the One Leaf Commander MV100. Um, this one was kindly sent by Jason from One Leaf for me to do a review on it. Um, they retail between three and 400 pounds, but we've got a 10% discount code for you if you go and type in Camelot Country Sports on the link in the description and you'll automatically get 10% off your product. So let's see what's in the box. So, you get nice little instruction manual, cleaning cough, charging cable, some Allen keys and some more seals in there, some O-rings and stuff. You get the actual unit itself with two different eye extensions. Then you get three scope attachments. You get a 45, a 42, and a 48. You also get a nice little bag to put it all in. So you get two rubber eye pieces. So this also includes within the kit, you get a, a battery included, one leaf in battery which is there and then you also get a sim card or oh, sorry an sd card which is a um, 32 gigabyte so there's plenty of storage on that for all your footage so the buttons on the uh, one leaf commander there's six buttons in total we've got power on we've got digital zoom we've got black and colour mode and the level settings for the IR torch now this has got six IR torch settings for different obviously brightnesses we've got the screen zoom on the top then we've got take a photo or recording in the middle and then we've got menu that takes you through the menu and goes through everything else we have two levels of focusing this one is our diopter adjustment and then this one is your objective adjustment that goes backwards and forwards like that there. Both very easy to use and very easy to set up on your scope once installed. The IR torch also has extra um, focus on it for more concentrated IR torch mode. So that makes it a more sharper beam and that makes it more of a wide angle beam. I normally use it somewhere in between depending on obviously what zoom in and what scope I've got it on. Around the connection side, you have your slot for your SD card. You have your charging port cable there and that's for also a microphone um, or earphone jack to get that in there i don't recommend charging straight to the battery i've got a separate battery charger at home that i take the battery out and charge on a separate um, device totally but it does say that you can charge it through the mv100 right so to install the mv100 onto your rifle you have to find out what size your scope is and find the right attachment so this is a 42 I've also had to put some tape around the inside of the scope just to pack it out a little bit because it was, it was quite a bit smaller and there was quite a bit of obviously play in it. So I fasten that down. There is two um, Allen key screws just to lock it in place. And the MV100 simply goes on the end and clicks into place and sits like that. So on newer rifles, you will have to probably move your scope a bit forward. Um, so you can still put your cheek on the cheek piece. The only problem with this is it's an old Fiber MFR and the mounts are actually fixed, so I haven't got the luxury of doing that. But you kind of get the gist of how it all goes on. Right, so the next step is I'm going to show you some footage of what it looks like through the MV100 Commander, through the scope.
Right, so to come to a conclusion guys, um, this ace little unit, you know, it's very good and I'm going to be using it on some of my other future videos. Um, I've already done one rabbit shooting videos if you look back through the um, video list on the channel and it's on my FX. Um, you've just seen a couple of pictures of me, well a couple of videos of me shooting some rabbits with it when it's on the FX right out to about 75 yards. So you can see the clarity and the focusing on, on it. Um, Marks out of 10, I'm going to give this little unit about a 7, um, just because it's it's great really. Um, the other thing is, it, it you know, it will go toe to toe and it's if not better than some other name brands on the market as well. Uh, so it's not all about obviously who was first on the market and who launched the one first. So this little unit can go toe to toe with any of them. Um, I'd like to thank you. Thank you Jason down at Wanleaf again for sending it me out and I will be making quite a few more other videos using this unit for both recording and I'll do some daytime footage hopefully over a squirrel feeder and I'll take it out doing some more um, night vision hunting with rabbits as well. So thank you for watching episode one of my little um, Wanleaf night vision um, add-on scoping on the Commander MV100 and I look forward to seeing you all again soon on my Honest Air Gun reviews. Cheers guys.